The September 2008 death of J.H. Rose football player Jaquan Waller was a wake-up call to many of us. It was a call I certainly will never forget. Waller died from second impact syndrome. Basically, Waller had two different concussions in a very short time. It educated a lot of us, and um, you know we deal with a lot of people, and they just don't think it can ever happen to them. And as I tell our coaches, it, not only can it, but it has happened to us. Football, by its very nature, is a violent sport. Rules have been changed and altered to try and make the game safer. Still, this is football. We felt like it was something that needed to be addressed, even at our level. So Manning and his coaches have partnered up with USA Football to teach a safer game. We've kind of prided ourselves on, on tackling technique for quite some time. And it's not necessarily that we were teaching a different way. It's that, that the terminology and the visual cues and the verbal cues are a lot different in heads up tackling. And once we've got those, uh, the kids acclimated to the terminology, they've, uh, they've done very well with it. Still, concussions can and will happen. Just last month, South Central quarterback Dylan Cunningham was injured against J.H. Rose. Dylan's father, Tim, was visibly upset because this was Dylan's second concussion of the season. This one was worse than the first one. Um, I actually had two, one in baseball and, and then uh, one at Hunt. So this is actually the third concussion. This one was more serious than all of them um, where he couldn't... Um, he couldn't come out of the bedroom because of the light, uh, the sunlight outside. So he stayed in basically four days um, at the house. Uh, that happened on a Friday night. Sunday he was actually rushed back to the hospital worrying about symptoms that he was having, headaches and uh, vomit and stuff. So um, we took him back to the hospital. Um, this was more, this is a much more serious uh, concussion than he ever had before. Um, and it scares, it still scares us. As a parent, if you had to do it over again, would Dylan play football? Mm, that's a very hard question. Um, the athletic ability of my son that, has, that he's had all his life, he's loved the sports. Um, I don't think I'd hold him back from it, but um, now that he's getting to that age and I'm finding more things about concussions, probably not, I probably wouldn't let him play. Mike Hanley is the Assistant Athletic Director for Medical Services at East Carolina. Since 1989, Hanley has been a clinical instructor in the athletic training program. His primary responsibility has been football, and he's seen how concussions are handled change drastically. And as we've gone along and learned more and more about them, um, sometimes the symptoms will go away, or we find out players lie about the symptoms, but there are certain things they can't lie about. There are certain things they can't hide. That's where the balance comes into play. They can't fake that. Still, today's parents face quite a dilemma. Do they risk allowing their children the chance to play football and risk permanent injury? I think that the league has done a really good job with teaching our young children how to hit and to hit correctly. And I know the coaches that we have here are instilling that in them. Do I worry? Well, I'm a mother. I mean, of course I worry. But I really feel like they've gone a long way with that, and I think they're doing a good job. I don't, um, or I haven't. Um, these helmets are so heavy, and the pattern is so thick inside they fit real tight and um it just hasn't been a concern there's going to be an inherent risk you know just from playing the game um, but i think that the risk of them getting hurt or suffering some type of head injury is just as likely as them playing any other sport i really feel like that from the top down uh, there's there's really been a concerted effort uh, by each organization to change football at its most fundamental level, and that's right here, right here, right now. My son Ryan suffered two minor concussions during his senior year of football, and that was the same year that we lost Jaquan Waller. I truly love the sport of football, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't at least think about asking my own son not to play. Brian Bailey, not on your side, sports.